What's going on guys, it is Alex here, and in between episodes I built this massive wall uh, just outside of um, where our skeleton spawner is. It's about halfway, uh, the skeleton spawner is about halfway from here to home, uh, and this is going to be where I set up my more permanent base. Uh, in today's episode, we're just going to be building our main storage area inside of this, so... We need to get blackstone bricks for this. As you can see, we laid out a basic flooring. Um, but uh, this is going to be like the main area in it with most of the chests. Obviously, there's going to be some over here, but uh, you know we don't want to just have two rooms of them. So we're going to run over here, and we're just going to follow this same floor plan on both sides obviously because it's just a mirror image and obviously this is not going to get all done uh, today because there is a lot of work that needs to go into this such as a glass dome that I'm going to put on top uh, in in kind of the circular area here which is more like an oval but I think that was like what I was going for so that's okay right now um, I'm just more focused on the basic shape and floor plan, so that's what we're going to be working on. We need to put in these basalt pillars. So there we go, let's fill this in fully. And then over here too. Okay, and now we need to put in two there, and that should be good for basalt as far as we're concerned right now. We're just gonna put a couple blocks around here. These lines are just kind of to make it look a bit better, but uh, you know, obviously we are going to be using the outside ones uh, to build this out of. Let's take a look at this from the outside. This is going to be so much easier when we have an elytra, but uh, as we can see, it is pretty big. Oh yeah, in between episodes, I found a, um, I found a nether fortress, and I got some blaze rods and ender pearls. However, I won't be going to the end yet, because I don't want to do that without Connor and Ethan. But I'll be back when I get some more uh, blocks for this build. Okay, so we do have the blocks we need to keep uh, building this. I do have to get a bunch more cobblestone and fill in this wall all the way because it's definitely not done. And I'm going to add some water around the front, but as you can see, this wall is actually pretty low. Uh, so, especially over in this direction, you can see it dips down uh, in that little like crevice in the like in the landscape so I have to completely fill the in so it's one uh, same Y level uh, but yeah so we're gonna fill this in we're gonna grab our quartz blocks which we're using for this and nether brick fences now I'm using nether brick fences because quite honestly they're just one of the best choices uh, for builds like this. And I'm only using quartz up until the point which I showed you. Just up until this basalt pillar. Uh, and then I'm going to fill this in with diorite. And there we go. Now I could um, go ahead and right now uh, put in some nether brick fences on these uh, walls, which does actually look pretty good, so I might keep it like that. It just makes this whole uh, building look a bit better. I do also have to go mine blackstone uh, from the nether. 
but I don't really want to go into the nether right now uh, on camera just because I don't really like going into the nether, especially uh, on camera. I feel like it kind of is one of the worst place to records because like the lighting in it's bad. But as you can see here, um, this is pretty much done. However, I am going to take some quartz and fill in these spots. It just kind of needs to be done. Uh, but as you can see here, there's a, di there's a diverse amount of blocks so that it looks decent, but also uh, can be like a good look. This is going to be probably about 10-15 blocks tall though, so like obviously this isn't the most realistic size for it. I also have to take some basalt pillars, uh, two blocks out, one, two, three, four, five. And I did get feather falling four on my boots, so it's like insane. I can fall from pretty high up and not take any fall damage, which is really good. Maybe it wasn't five on that. But these are going to go all the way up into a uh, support beam that goes across the top uh, next to the dome just because it does make this whole thing look a lot better. I could actually probably build up now, I just need to know how many blocks there is. So there's going to be 8 blocks up, which is definitely tall enough. And as we can see they are the same size. So we're going to fill this in all the way uh, with blocks of quartz. Um, obviously we do need to actually build these basalt pillars up too, but as we can see here, this is built up enough uh, that we could um, obviously build it how we would like it. Um, I am just going to use some uh, diorite on this because it makes it easier. And since I have so many quartz blocks, I'm not too concerned about um, about anything on this. And there we go. This is as tall as we need it. There we go. That looks good. And then we're gonna just from here, it's it's one block out that I'm gonna do with diorite, uh, but it is right here. That is uh, gonna be a polished diorite tower. It's not gonna be in the middle. Um, as we can see, this is not the right height. Uh, it's only gonna be that tall but then uh, I'm just gonna grab uh, well I do have two black stones so that's gonna be tall enough like that's gonna be enough for this I could fill this in with um, with uh, quartz instead of black stone which could look good yeah that looks pretty good I guess And we're going to go across this again. There we go. And there we go. Okay. This does look actually pretty good. I do like it. And it is definitely one of my more favorite builds I have done on this channel. Okay. So this looks pretty good. Um, in between episodes, I'm just going to fill this in. Uh, like this wall here. And I'll see you guys in the next episode where I hopefully finish building this. Peace.